Electric Theatre Collective has been around for five years now, set up by four guys who are all co-founders who are just really good friends. So you had Lee, Dan, Giles and James. One of the great things about it was just being starting from a blank canvas. Because it's such a new company, all the technology is new, we're using the best of everything and that's partly why Houdini's been used because we, we know it's the sort of forefront of the, of the industry and it's what everyone wants to be using and we were lucky enough to be uh, starting from scratch so we just were like, could hand pick the right tools. The work we do is pretty varied, it's main, mainly photo reel VFX. Um, but we obviously do some really, some more interesting stuff, more to cartoony stuff. Freeview, Set Yourself Free was, um, it was a huge job, it was like the biggest job ETC's done I think, even to date. Uh, it was basically a story of a hero TV it's stuck in a world of, uh, of oppression. The job did have the feel of a stop frame animation, like box trolls, and that was like a challenge within itself. You know, there's a lot of, we rendered everything deep so we could composite everything and put signs in and things like that and nuke if we needed to. You know, there's a huge amount of assets that need to be built for each particular scene and laid out and rendered. Uh, and there's quite a heavy, you know, overhead really, um, let alone just for the building, but actually rendering it and managing that and, and having it in your scene, you know, a lot of softwares wouldn't be able to handle it, but Houdini handled it really well. Uh, we use the Houdini Fur tool system and probably with a bit of tweaks, uh, you know, by our own technical guys, um, just to try and get sort of, you know, interesting curls or uh, just create some things that weren't necessarily right in the box so we did a bit of like tinkering with it ourselves which is great the end shock sequence was really a full-on one that had fur in it on the girl's hair and then it had fur on the dog it had a cloth simulation on the jacket and the jacket also had fur on it as well so that was quite a number of different uh, aspects we all had to pull together i think the main thing that houdini's been amazing for uh, for the company is just the lighting and rendering especially when you're dealing with large shot numbers because the fact that you can copy and paste things from one one uh, shot to another or uh, you know reuse things is like really really good you know programs like Maya tend to fall down when you start mixing things together a little bit and uh, they're they're more complicated to set up so it's there's a lighting and rendering tool that's been absolutely amazing for uh, dealing with all of our assets. So the Massive Attack project was a music video for Massive Attack for a song called Voodoo in My Blood. It was starring Rosamund Pike. You know, the main challenge was a huge amount of shots in a short amount of time and I had a really small team. The amount of CG was just this main character was an orb, like floating around the, car the character Rosamund Pike is playing. I didn't have a, a huge team and uh, some people were bound to uh, join us at some point and uh, I couldn't afford to uh, explain everything to everyone. So I had to create assets so they'd be able to pick it up like, really quickly. In Houdini you can create different parameters and uh, make it really user-friendly. You can make loads of changes on really smaller parameters and you, you can make it really easy to work with. And you can basically customize pretty much everything you want, everything you need. Houdini basically allowed us to create flexible assets in a really short amount of time and it was pretty effective in production because they were able to pick it up really easily and it was all really clear and easy to use so we basically done the, the rendering in less than, than two weeks and that was it. Houdini is the main tool for ETC, it's our hub it's where everything's dealt with basically and, and organised. Um, so all our lighting and rendering happens in there, all of our asset look dev happens in there, um, all of our fur tools are in there, all of our effects work. So basically everything's in there at the moment. You know, the way that we've set our pipeline up and using Houdini with that makes the whole whole thing very efficient and, and, and time saving. And I think in this industry it's very competitive. And, uh, and you know, anywhere you can save time and save money is really important these days.